This is how Republican Senator Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee questioned one of President Biden's judicial nominees today. Listen to this. On the eve of his hearing, it has been made public that he has a rap sheet with a laundry list of citations, including multiple failures to appear in court. In Tennessee, we expect our judges to respect the law, not disregard it. If Mr. Mathis thought he was above the law before, imagine how he'll conduct himself if he's confirmed as a federal judge. Rap sheet. I mean, if you're like me and you heard her say that, you might be thinking, what did this man do? So let me tell you about his, was the word rap sheet she used? So he apparently forgot to pay for three speeding tickets over 10 years ago. One, one, now brace yourself, one was for going five miles over the speed limit. And by the way, Mathis, the man you see here, he's from Tennessee, the state that Blackburn represents, and listen to how he had to respond. I highly regret uh, um, that I'm in this situation. Uh, I feel like I've embarrassed my, my family. Um, and I truly regret that. Uh, wow, I deserve this, they don't. I can assure the committee that I'm a law-abiding citizen. Uh, I've, I've never been arrested. I've never been, been charged with a crime. You shouldn't be embarrassed or regret. I mean, he's not the one who should be embarrassed about the way you handled this situation. And I want to bring in now uh, the former NAACP president and CEO, Cornell William Brooks, because I can imagine, Cornell, I could almost predict what your reaction was. I almost called you to be like, did you see this just now? What's your reaction to that? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It was extraordinarily uh, painful to watch as an American and as an African American and certainly as a black man. Why? Because here we have the first woman elected to the United States Senate from the state of Tennessee. Humiliating, denigrating, demeaning a black man who has the opportunity to be the first black man to serve on the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Sixth Circuit. She refers to some uh, less than a handful of speeding tickets as a rap sheet. Now, you know, Laura, one out of every three American adults has a criminal record. That is to say, a record of arrest. 77 million people. And he's this not one of them. He's not one of those people, though. That's exactly it. That is exactly it. And so we know that this notion, this invoking of a rap sheet invokes an ugly history of criminalizing and stereotyping and degrading black people. So in the context of a judicial nomination hearing, he is surrounded by his family and literally he is humiliated, almost reduced to tears in front of his children. This is, this is, uh, this is conduct unbecoming of a United States Senator and surprising. Because and you know, from, and you know, uh, you know what, Cornell, I couldn't help but think in the recent thoughts about how judicial nominees have been handled. I thought to myself, gosh, I wonder how this same senator may have acted when somebody was accused of sexual misconduct who was a nominee for the Supreme Court. Surely right. a statement that she made and the ideas of what we expect about above the law and these notions about years ago behavior that are alleged, right. I, I, I assume right. she had the same one, but instead, do we have the clip of what she actually said about, say, a justice, now Justice Kavanaugh? Do we have that? Because I want to play it if we do. Mm -hmm. Let's play it. We have spent enough time and money trashing a good man and his name. He is on the Supreme Court. Justice Kavanaugh is an honorable man. He is doing a, an honorable job on the Supreme Court. But Cornell, did he speed? Did he ever speed? I mean, because that would make him dishonorable and somebody who imagined right. should be on the court. Uh, that strikes me as quite a dichotomy, even though the allegations obviously are quite distinct. It, it's a dichotomy, uh, but it's also rank hypocrisy. Uh, uh, Justice Kavanaugh was my classmate at Yale Law School. Um, I expected him to be uh, in, in question uh, fairly in the same way I expected this judicial nominee, uh, Attorney Mathis, to be questioned fairly. 
but to suggest that he was somehow a, a, a felon, somehow a ne'er do well, uh, a, 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 a essentially a thug being nominated to the bench. Come on, let's be fair. I mean, let, let, let's be fair. Millions of Americans have speeding tickets. This is not a disqualifying uh, characteristic. Uh, it is not a fatal character flaw, particularly, Laura, for, for speeding tickets 10 years ago. 